1979 the Honda Civic. I haven't seen one of those in years. What's up guys? I wanted to show you a project that I've been working on the last couple years. It's a 1979 Honda Civic 1200 two-door trunk back. I got this car from my aunt. I actually went and did a house call timing belt job for her. She had a late 80s Civic that needed a timing belt done. I went and did it and she uh, she was like, hey, I got, a, I got a Civic in my backyard you might want to check out. So I go back there and this beauty was sitting there. It was covered in weeds. The whole inside was just full of junk. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. And she was like, uh, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, I end up, I end up getting the car for damn near free. I think I end up having to pay $150 for, to get the title or something. Got the engine running and I went to back out of the driveway and reverse was gone. So at that point, I realized that, uh, it's probably not going to happen for this car because I couldn't find, I couldn't find any parts. The only parts I could find were on eBay. Rock Auto had a little bit of stuff, but a lot of the guys that are into these cars, they stockpile the parts. So it's, it's extremely hard to find replacement parts for these cars. On the internet, I found that people swap these cars with the D-Series engine from Honda, uh, which I was lucky because I had a D-Series engine from a previous project. So I was able to be like, oh, sweet. Uh, I can just I can just weld mounts in there and slap that in there and go So I end up doing that. I actually I actually swapped this car once before with the d-series And it 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 screamed because the car only weighs 16 something 1670 or something and the factory engines actually quite a bit heavier than the d-series So after starting the d-series swap I realized right away There was no wheels for the 4x120 pattern that the Honda originally came with so I had to swap it to a 4x100. Once I got that done, the swap done, I uh, the suspension, the wheel bearings on the front and the suspension were just, it was horrible. It was like, I'd fix it and then the next day it'd be worn out and it was because all the parts that I was using were not, they, it was scabbed, let's just say that. I was really just, just desperate to drive the car. So some of the guys on the forum, luckily for me, they were, they were pushing hard to get a company to build coilovers for these. And uh, BC Racing stepped up to the plate and made these for us. I, I can't even, I don't even know how to thank those guys that, that push for that because these the suspension on this car factory is just garbage. The next thing I upgraded, obviously, is since I went to fuel injection, the tank in this car did, did not breathe well. I welded, I did everything to it. I sumped it, it didn't work. I I had it sumped and then I I put a vent pipe on the top. It just it kept starving for fuel. So I end up having to put a fuel cell in the car. You can't fit anything underneath. There's like no room underneath there. Well there is now that the tank's gone, but uh I end up getting a fuel cell, doing the Walbro 255 pump, all in lines. So that's how it sits. And I know what you're thinking. I don't care about the past. I want to know what you're trying to do to it now. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. So, 600 horsepower GSR, right? 1600 pound car. Yeehaw! This engine came out of my race car. I had a 95 Civic four door. Uh, the car made 690 to the wheels. Uh, a little bit about the motor. Fully built two liter GSR, Precision 6262, Edelbrock Victor X, ID 1000s. Um, what else? What else? There's not much to all tile boost control, mm, avenging clamp. So, the point of this whole build is to show you how I got this to fit in there. This engine bay is super, super narrow. It's about, mm, <laughs> they'd probably go towards like a Mini Cooper style B-Series swap where the whole front end is one unit and I can actually like detach it and drop the whole front, including, uh, not including the suspension, just the whole engine itself, which that's probably going to be a treat in itself. Um, I'm going to cage the car, redo all the wiring. I have a, a rye wire harness for it. I'm gonna have to order some more stuff through them to make it work though. Um, so we're gonna cage the car. We're gonna build an internal frame to attach the, the engine cradle, we'll call it. 
Right now I'm actually working on um, a front K member to hold the rack and pinion. Here's the old one. We're gonna build that out of tube. Hopefully I'll have that built today. Engine management, we're gonna run Honda S300. I'm gonna do the, the coil and plug swap. Uh, we'll probably end up doing traction control, obviously, because 600 horse, the front tires are just gonna blow off. Uh, I also, I even thought about doing a B-Series all-wheel drive setup. What do you guys think about that? The thing I'm worried about with the, the all-wheel drive setup is the transmissions I have heard are not very good. Um, but there's also people running six, 600 horse on them. I don't know how they get them to not blow up, but that could be a possibility. So there's a little bit of history on the car and what I want to do to it. Um, I'm going to try to update this build every Sunday. So subscribe if you want to keep seeing videos. If you guys don't like these videos, I'm not, not going to make them because it's, it's, it's extremely difficult to build parts and film at the same time. It's like multitasking times a hundred. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next Sunday, hopefully.